Hey guys, it's your girl Brandy, and in today's video, I wanted to kind of give you guys a tour of all of my bookshelves. I'm not necessarily doing a book room tour just yet. However, I did want to come and show you guys my bookshelves and then go over all of the books that I have and then go over the books that I have not read yet that is on my physical TBR and yeah. <laughs> I want to talk to you guys about all of the books that I own. I know a lot of people have been asking for a bookish room tour. However, I'm not quite ready to tour my room. So I was like, let me tour my bookshelves because I don't think I've ever showed you guys all of my bookshelves that are in my room. So I thought today would be the perfect time to do that. So I have books all over my room. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera around and kind of just go to where I have books all over. Talk about the books that I have, talk about the ones that I have not read, talk about what plans I have with these said books and so forth and so on. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'm going to turn you guys around so that we can get started on the placement of my books. So this is my desk and I have this cute little bookshelf that I showed you guys in a surprise bookish haul. And then on this bookshelf, I actually have about half of the books that was gifted to me. The only book on here that I have read is My May by Jessica George. And the only reason why I put that book here on this shelf is because it kind of matches these three here. And I used to have this one displayed, but it really wasn't matching the aesthetic of my display. So I just moved it over here because it matched these books here. So I'm not going to go over all of the titles because there is tons. But as you can see, I have quite a few books on this shelf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these have not been read. I don't know when I'm going to read these, but I definitely need to incorporate these into some of my seasonal TBRs. I do need to read the synopsis just to see what vibe I get from these books so that I can determine which season I need to read these books. But yeah, and on this one, I have this cute little faux planter here with glasses on because obviously I wear glasses and this is one of my bookshelves that sit on my desk. Now this is a section on my desk that has shelving and this will be considered my overflow because I do need another bookshelf and the books that I buy and I don't have a spot for I've just been sticking them here however this is not their final destination. Um, I am eventually going to add a bookshelf over here. And once I get that bookshelf added over there, then I'll be ready to kind of do like a room tour. But out of all of these titles here, I've only read the mixtape and Monday's Not Coming. The others I have not read. And these are just random books that I either got from um dollar tree or gifted or from ollie's and then down here is kind of the same all of these books down here i got from the goodwill bookstore except for this one um they're vicious games i bought that one from amazon but i have not read any of these books and i've heard so much about the davenports i've also heard so much about their vicious games and i'm excited to get to those really soon i especially want to get to the Davenports before the second one is released. So I'm going to add it to my TBR, but I don't know if it should be added to my fall and winter TBR. If you guys read this, what vibe does this book give? Like what season does it give? Because I really wanna go ahead and get this one read um, before the second one comes out. I'm excited about their Vicious Games. I don't know when to read this one either. A lot of these books, are, like I said, I really don't know 
when to read them um since i do seasonal tbrs but for some of these on this shelf i think i'm just going to be adding them in as fillers so that i can get them read without being included in a set tbr because if i wait to include them in a tbr then i probably will never read them so yeah let's move over to the next bookshelf so this is the couch that I'm always filming in front of. Um, and this is a small bookshelf that I have over here. And on top of it, I have this sh I'm reading sign with the candle and the candle lighter. And on this shelf, it is incorporated um, with some indie authors here. And I've read all of the books here by indie authors. This one is actually by my um, best friend's brother that I grew up with. He wrote um, his first book and published it independently on M. Well, yeah, he published it and it was released and I was able to get it from Amazon. So all of these books here are published by indie authors. And these two here were sent to me by the author this of course is only for the week and then these two are part of a series but I have not read the other two I got these two didn't even know it was four books in a series but yeah so there's that and then this part I just have random books here no particular reason um I just put these here because just to have them here I guess once I get my new bookshelf, these are probably going to be moved. Like, there, this is no type of special arrangement. I just put these here. And I think it's because I, as I was finishing these, I was just sliding them here. Because this shelf used to be the shelf that I would house books that I finished reading. And so, with these, they just stayed here. And then down here is like my spiritual books and notebooks. Like these are my journals that I use when I am studying the word. Um, fun fact, I read the entire Bible in 2022. So this is the one year Bible that I read in 2022. And I have some other spiritual books here that were either gifted um, from my best friend or one that I purchased that was released and written by my pastor. This is my stack that I am going to unhaul. Um, either because the book is not something that I like to read anymore or the quality of the book is something that I don't want on my bookshelf or some books that I just DNF'd and didn't care to keep anymore and I'm just housing them there because once I do an unhaul I would love for the unhaul to be a large stack to just give to somebody instead of doing one at a time and I don't want to sell the books I just want to give them away so let's move over to my tbr cart if you guys hear water in the background my son is getting a bath but this is my tbr cart and on the side i have a book bag hanging from it my chargers are usually plugged in behind here so that's why you see the cord but this is my tbr cart and at the top there's no particular aesthetic or anything like that. I just have this cute little basket that I was gifted for my birthday. And it came with some of these items like this candle, this cup, and then this notebook that's back here. And I'm the type of person that holds on to things and be afraid to use new things. I don't know why I'm like that. So everything that was gifted to me... <laughs> I just left it in this cute basket. I'm eventually going to use this cup for sure. This candle is going to be used once I'm done with the current candle that I'm using. And then I'm trying to figure out what I want to use this notebook for. And then I have this cute little mason jar. It used to be um, a date night jar, but I took all of the money out <laughs> and put my bookmarks in here. So I just have a variety of like, you know, cute bookmarks in here. This one is my current fave, which I showed you guys in a book haul. And then I have my Legos here that um, I built 
and I got these gifted for my birthday. And then here, like I said, I don't have a particular aesthetic going on here. I have some books here that I just have not read. I got this book when from the library for free. This book was gifted um, with my surprise book haul. I definitely want to read this book soon. Um, I think I want to toss this into my fall and winter TBR. This one I bought from the Goodwill and I do want to toss this into my fall and winter TBR and this one I bought no I got gifted for my birthday now I definitely want to read this one soon especially since I've been reading a lot of historical fiction I feel like I've just been in my historical fiction bag lately and I really want to pick this one up I usually just charge up my Kindle here so that's why it's here because I will have my cord coming from back here pull it up here and just stick my Kindle and then I have it upside down like this if I'm not using it or having it this laid on my desk then of course you can see the book that I'm about to start reading here soon and then below kind of have some order this is where I have my seasonal TBR and you guys should have already seen my fall video of all the books that I plan to read this fall of course one is missing legend born because I am in the middle of that but all of these books here are books that I have not read yet and I plan to read in this fall and this winter. So I had Blood Mark while we were burning. Take it back. Wrong place, wrong time. Real fast. Find me at the disco. The woman in the library. Daydream. My sister, the serial killer. Daisy hates. And then down here, I have this Poison Heart. This Wicked Fate. The Good Lie. The Silent Patient. The Weight of Blood, Where Sleeping Girls Lie, teacher, The Teacher in Never Lie. Um, so those are just some books that I plan to read this fall and this winter. It is my seasonal TBR. And then my cart just has some stickers on it that I just stuck on there once I first started this cart. Um, just some little cute bookish stickers on there. I do want to add some more because I got some sunflower stickers some bookish sunflower stickers in and i am going to add some more to the cart but yes this is my cart and yeah let's move on to my next bookshelf so i've showed you guys this bookshelf before this is the bookshelf where i house my favorites so like my autobi authors and my favorite memoirs are over here. And don't mind that cord right there. That's just the cord to my TV because I have a TV display right above the bookshelf. But I am a 50 cent stand. Love him down. So, of course, I have Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter display because that was one of my favorite books by him. And then you guys know I always rave about Will by Will Smith. So, of course, I have that display Gucci Mane has a great memoir, uh, autobiography. It was amazing. I listened to it via audiobook. I actually listened to all three of these via audiobook. And then, fun fact about me, I love elephants. So, I found this little elephant um, book decor thing at Burlington's. Again, you might hear my son in the background because he's getting a bath. And so, I also have two closets in here. Here's one, and I hang one of my book bags on that one and then the other one it has a mirror plus another book bag and then on this shelf here I have my Kennedy Ryan books the only one that's missing from over here is real and that's because it's on my fall winter TBR cart and then I have this cute little um party favor from my cousin's wedding just sitting there because I didn't want to drink the water. I really wanted to just save it because it was just so cute. And then of course I have my S.A. Cosby book sitting here in the middle. And then I have my Angie Thomas books here. Love those books down. And then down here I have these two cute little storage containers. I put like chargers and bookmarks and book lights and stuff like that in those and then right here i have my memoirs now i don't really have anything down here in this space i do have um 
this advanced reader copy for looking for the smoke box down here and that's because i really just didn't want to throw it away again i'm one of those people that just likes to hold on to things so the book is still in here but it's an advanced copy so it doesn't have the original cover this is not the final cover so i just kept it in the box because i didn't want to display it like this I don't know. I just didn't want to display it. So that's what's down here. Eventually, I'm going to fill these two sides up with books once I, um, again, get my other bookshelf going because I will have to start moving books around and putting some more auto buy authors on the side. Really quick, I forgot to mention that I have read almost every book on this shelf besides all the Sinners Bleed and Black Top Wasteland. Everything else on here I have read and I don't know when I'm going to read all the Sinners Bleed and Black Top Wasteland. I would love to read them before the year end simply because S.A. Cosby just announced that he does have a new book that's going to be um, released next year. And I was holding on to those two because I just didn't want to end his catalog with knowing he didn't have anything on the way. So I definitely need to make those two books priority before his new one release. So this right here is my main bookshelf and it's four shelves. However, I'm only showing you guys three because the fourth one has nothing but electronics. So it has like my old Kindle, old iPad, old tablet, um, a printer is down there. Nothing is really bookish. So I just didn't want to show you guys that. Um, I have lights as you guys can see, I have these lights around here that I light up when I'm trying to make it a little cozy mood in here. And it gets really cute in here when I turn those lights on. But we're going to start at this bottom shelf to kind of go over what I have not read on this shelf. So if we start on this stack here, I have not read The Tin Man um, that was a book that I just picked up at Dollar Tree. The synopsis sound very intriguing, so I just picked it up. Everything else in that stack I have read. I would love to reread The Great Gatsby because I have not read that since high school, and I, I don't remember anything about it, but everything else on here I have read. So in this stack here, I have read everything in this stack i have read everything here literally everything there has been read and then over here i have not read any of these lucy score books i was trying to gauge when the best time would be to read those books and i was told by one of my bookish besties that these three give fall vibes and you really can't tell that because <laughs> You get flowers and all of that on the covers. And that's why I didn't know when to read these three. But I was told that they get fall vibes. So I'm like, oh, dang. I need to incorporate these in my never-ending fall TBR. Because what? Okay. And so in this stack over here, I have read... Um, I have not read A Thousand Boy Kisses, If Only I Had Told Her... If He Had Been With Me and Daisy Hates, I have not read that one because I think this is like the fourth in a in the series. I've read the Magnolia Parks and then I have Daisy Hates, the second book on my TBR for this fall. So I have not read this one yet. So these four, I have not read. Now these three, I heard they make you cry or they're very sad. So I was trying to think, when should I incorporate these books? These are giving like Valentine's Day vibes to me. I don't know why, even though they will make you cry. So I'm guessing it's going to be some like breakups going on. But I feel like I'm going to save these to the end of winter um, around Valentine's Day since they're like romance and young adult love stories. And so if we move up here, I have just a whole bunch of random stuff. So if we start over here, I have read, 
I have not read. I keep on saying I have read, but we're talking about what I have not read. So I have not read what ha what has become of you. I picked this book up at the Goodwill bookstore. Um, the synopsis sound very intriguing. I don't know when I'm going to prioritize that book. If it takes me too long to get to that book, then I'll probably just unhaul it. Um, I have not read Good Girl, Bad Blood or a good girl's, no, or a good, as good as dead. I have not read that one. Now, I know you guys are wondering why I have two, <laughs> two copies of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And that's because I bought this set here from the Goodwill for $9. And I had already had this book individually because I was reading that book to determine if I'm going, if I was going to read the rest of the series. And I found this on a great steal, so I just went ahead and got it. So I probably just give this one to my daughter and let her read it instead of unhauling it because I think she would like that one because we watched the show together. And so if I move over here, I've read everything on this stack besides Luca. I have not read Luca yet. Luca really should be over there with my fall, winter TBR. And I keep on saying fall, winter because whatever I don't read in the fall, I plan to just move over to my winter. I really have not created my winter TBR, but I think I'm going to add Luca to the winter TBR and go ahead and start that then. And then in this stack here... I have not read the song, The Son of Solomon. I have not read Getting Too Happy. I have not read The Vanishing Half. I have not read An American Marriage. I don't know when I'm going to read those. Definitely want to prioritize those. Um, I'm most excited about the son of Solomon. I really want to read that um, this winter. So we'll see. I don't know. And then if we move up to the top, over here is kind of like a thriller stack. I have not read this James Patterson book. I have not read Follow Me. And I have not read The Prisoner by B.A. Paris. If you guys remember, I gave B.A. Paris a chance when I wrote when I read Behind Closed Doors. And I've been saying I'm going to give her a second chance. And this is the novel that I'm going to give her the second chance with. Follow Me was one that I found. Um, I found it somewhere. Somebody was talking about it. I was very intrigued. So I picked that one up. Now, Cross by James Patterson. I don't know if I will still want to read this one because I've been wanting to get into James Patterson, but I really don't know where to start. And he has so many books. And I think if I get into James Patterson, I would much rather get into his newer releases instead of his old ones. So I feel like I'm probably going to unhaul that one. I don't know, though. So over here, I have read nothing here besides sub keep rising i just picked these two up from the goodwill so if you watched my bookish vlog maybe a few weeks ago you seen it i picked these up i was gifted this one for my birthday definitely want to read this soon i'm just now tapping into fantasy so i don't know when i'm going to prioritize this one but with these i know this one is the second book in the series so i definitely have to get my hands on the first one but with this one i wanted to read this one first before i picked up the second one because i'm not that girl that buy the entire series before reading the book one the only series that i bought as a whole is this one and the reason why i bought that one as a whole is because i found i think two of them at the goodwill bookstore and i was like i may as well just buy the third one if i see the third one because they were at a great price and so my last stack here i have read honey and spice i have not read any other book and i'm going to prioritize it this book the seven year slip was actually the last book in my spring summer tbr and i pushed it back because i was just too afraid to read it because i've been hearing so many mixed reviews and y'all know i really don't go by reviews but when the book is heavily talked about 
and the reviews are so mixed i kind of like to push it to the back burner so that i could forget about it or so that the talk can die down before i decide to pick it up and read it and then sister friends forever it sound really good so i'm excited to read that one and then felix ever after i'm excited to read that one too i just don't know when so this is my main bookshelf it's really not considered a bookshelf I repurposed it and made it a bookshelf and I like it because I could just stack my books on top of each other and see them this way. I definitely need a new bookshelf though so I plan to add another one into this space. So I have over 150 books and I don't really organize them in no particular way. As you can see I literally just have them stacked. Um, I try to organize them, most of them, especially on my main bookshelf by genre. Um, and then I have my auto buy author bookshelf, but then my smaller ones, they are just stacked. So like the one that sits on my desk, the, the very first one that I showed you guys, the books that are on that bookshelf are the books that was purchased when that bookshelf was purchased so that's the reason why i got those books there and then the ones that are behind me on my bookshelf these are just overflow and i'm eventually going to move those to a bookshelf a bookshelf is going to be parked right behind me so i can't wait until i park that new bookshelf right behind me it's really not new i'm just moving it from my living room and putting it in here and when i officially move it from the living room and put it in here i'm going to um organize my books by author and genre i love the color coordinated book organization However, I like for my genres to be together and I really love for my authors to be together, especially with series, because I don't want to have to be looking around all over my color wheel to be trying to find a book. So I figure once I get that um, additional bookcase or bookshelf moved and put it right behind me, then I'm going to better organize my books. I really don't know <laughs> If I just want to have hardbacks on that shelf or what, but however I decide to organize those books, I know they will be organized by genre and by author because I just love to keep authors and genres together. Now, I don't really, I can have fantasy sitting next to thrillers or, you know, thrillers sitting next to romance. I don't really care about that. I just like for my bundles to be the same genre so yeah those are all of my books i have over 150 books i stopped counting once i got to 150 because i started miscounting and i was like i'm not starting over again but when i counted from this book this overflow this small one on my desk my main one and my auto buy i had got to 150 and i hadn't even gotten to my tbr card or the one that i showed you guys that has my indie author books on it so i have a lot of books as of right now i am kind of sort of on a book buying band kind of sort of like I'm not really going book shopping for multiple books. Maybe if a new release is coming out, then I go pick it up. But I kind of want to get to these books that I have not read because I have quite a few of them, like I showed you guys, especially on my TBR card. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you guys organize your bookshelves. Let me know if you have repurposed something into a bookshelf. I really love to see when people repurpose something into a bookshelf because we all see the standard bookshelves that everybody get from like Ikea or Target or Walmart. Like the one I'm about to move right here is one of those. But I love to see when someone repurposed a bookshelf or have some kind of unique bookshelf system i really really love it so tell me how you organize your books let me know if you do color genre or author and if you know how many books you have let me know i would love to hear about you guys's book organization i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to give you a room tour here very very soon but i just want to go ahead and get my new bookshelf added here and then I got some knickknacks that I would like to add into this room before I do a full-blown book tour plus 
if you guys know me personally you guys know i'm very heavy on safety so i really don't like to do uh, full-blown room tours or house tours or anything like that because people can kind of you know scope out where you live and things like that so it's a safety thing so bear with me i'm eventually gonna get to the point where i'm gonna be comfortable with showing you guys my book room because i definitely want you guys to see it because it's a vibe in here <laughs> it is a vibe in here but let me quit rambling make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and until next time ta-ta